I'm Deborah Borchardt and this is the Marijuana Money Minute. The week started out with a very different 420 celebration as all the events went online. There were virtual parties and fundraisers for different charities. The early indications seemed to show that sales were strong. Driven Deliveries said that it set sales records going up by 31%. High Tide announced that its sales over April 18th through the 20th went up 79%. Companies were still raising money despite the lockdown. The Flower Corporation raised $20 million Canadian dollars in a private placement with the option to go up to $25 million. Fire and Flower announced that they entered into a commitment letter to obtain $10 million. Organogram established an at-the-market equity program that will allow them to issue $49 million worth of common shares. There were a couple of acquisitions to note. CB2 Insights completed the purchase agreement for Colorado-based Ray of Sunshine. Still Canna signed a letter to acquire Sativa Group PLC, one of the UK's first medical cannabis companies. Mineral Hill Industries listed on the TSX Venture Exchange using the symbol MHI, but they had to unwind the capital they raised and step back from cannabis investments. Neptune Wellness Solutions entered into an exclusive partnership with legendary wildlife conservationist Dr. Jane Goodall to co-develop a natural health and wellness product line called Forest Remedies. Tetra Biopharma said it received an FDA orphan drug designation for secondary cannabidiol formulation of its cannabinoid topical drug PPP004 in the treatment of epidermolosis bullosa and Medicine Men Technology switched their name to Schwaz and they will use the OTC ticker SHWZ. That's it for this week. Everyone, stay safe out there.